You've not yet met Dave, but he seems like a normal enough person. There is something you need to know about Dave, though. I heard from Becky that Dave is an atheist. Now, you may be tempted to think, okay, Dave doesn't believe in a god, so what? No big deal. But make no mistake, it is a big deal. It is a gargantuan deal, because when Dave says that he doesn't believe in a god, that's only because, deep down, he hates God. Dave hates God so much that he denies God's very existence. It's likely that when Dave was nine years old, his pet gerbil died, and it was at this point that he blamed God for all of the pointless suffering and death in the world and committed himself to a lifetime of deep, boiling hatred. He spent his adolescence neglecting his studies to practice witchcraft with his similarly maladjusted friends, but he eventually figured out that an even better way to torch his relationship with God was to deny God's existence altogether. Because Dave knows that if there's no God, there's no moral authority, and if there's no moral authority, there's no right or wrong, and if there's no right or wrong, then he can do anything he wants. Lie! Cheat! Steal! Shout profanities at children! No God means no rules! He'll deny it, but he's probably into some pretty sick stuff. I bet he has like a... like a fake mustache fetish or something. There's a hole in Dave's heart. A hole that can only be filled by God, and Dave struggles to fill it, not with God, but with sex, drugs, and rock and roll. And I don't mean wholesome, uplifting rock and roll either. No, I'm talking like horrifying death metal. But nothing can take the place of a healthy relationship with God, and this is why, when Dave isn't busy being a pompous, intolerant jerk, he is a sad, angry, amoral, spiritually vacant train wreck of a human being. 